What's up, YouTube? It's Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fashion and <laughs> fragrance guy. And I have a great video for you guys today. I'm going to be covering the brand new release from Parfums de Marley, Al Fair. Now, if you are new to this channel or if you've seen some of my videos before and for some reason at this point, uh, you haven't hit subscribe. If you feel led to, I hope you won't mind hitting subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell icon as well. That way, anytime I upload a new video on YouTube, uh, you'll get notified. So on today's video, as I said, guys, we're going to be taking a deeper dive into the newest release from Parfums de Marley. Now, Parfums de Marley is a, a brand, a house um, you can say that I'm a fan of. A lot of their uh, fragrances, they are a niche brand, but a lot of their fragrances are very, uh, I would say, approachable, um, well likable fragrances. I'll say it that way. So uh, whether you've been collecting fragrances for a while or if you're someone that's newer to the hobby, this would be a... Um, niche brand that I would recommend to you because a lot of their fragrances are very, very uh, well received, highly likely that you would, you know, smell them and not be off put by the fragrances. So they're highly mass appealing is basically what I'm trying to say. And we're going to see if this new one out there, check out that bottle, that box. I'm sorry. Love the box. Love the color. But we're going to see how out there stacks up to and lives up to the name and the brand apart from Demarley. So I'm gonna run the intro. When we come back, we're gonna jump all into it. The brand new release from Parfums Demarley out there. Is it as good as some of my favorites from the brand? Well, stick around and you're gonna find out. So you know how we get down. If you wanna see my thoughts, keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video and let's talk about Al Thayer from Parfums de Marley. So the presentation, first and foremost, I love this color. Now, one thing that I've talked about before about, you know, sometimes when a company releases a fragrance is about how sometimes it is released out of season. Like... I know that we have, you know, there are people out there that say you can wear what you want when you want. I get it. But again, I always use this reference. I just wouldn't put on interlude, man, in the summertime. To me, it just doesn't go. Now, can you do that? Sure. But to me, it would be too cloying in the whole nine. You get it. So I do feel like there are better seasons to wear fragrances than others. I'll say it that way. Not necessarily that you couldn't. But I feel like this is so appropriate for the season. When you think about autumn. And you think about the, the fall, uh, whichever word you use to reference the season, this is the color of fall to me. So the presentation to me is so appropriate for this season. This is like a burnt orange color, which to me would be the number one. It's the number one color that comes to my mind when I think of fall. You think about fall, you think about seasons like, um, of course, Thanksgiving, you think about, you know, some people that celebrate Halloween. So you think about pumpkins, uh, pumpkin pie, sweet potato pie, whatever you like to eat um, around the Thanksgiving holiday. And this is the color uh, that comes to a lot of people's minds when they think about this particular season. So I think even from the standpoint of the color of the bottle, this was so um, appropriate as it relates to uh, what this fragrance looks like as far as the presentation. So I really love the color here. And uh, when you take the fragrance out of the box, of course, the bottle to me is stunning. The bottle, of course, is the same color, that nice spiced pumpkin orange or burnt orange color. Just again, I don't think they could have done a better color for not only the season of this fragrance, but when you smell this fragrance, I think this was like the perfect color. When you smell this fragrance and you'll know what I'm referring to when, you, if you get your hands on this, this smells like fall. It smells like the autumn season because it really, to me, if I were to sum up the smell of this fragrance, it smells like a spice pumpkin latte. So during around this time of year, if you are an avid Starbucks goer, I am, well, I used to be, I can't really drink coffee as much 
as I used to. That's a whole nother story. We'll talk about it another day. But they do this seasonal drink around the autumn time. It's like a spice pumpkin latte. And that's exactly what this smells like at the end of the day. So I'm going to spray it and then we'll jump in a little bit, a little bit more about the nuances and some of the specifics as it relates to what this smells like. So let's check that sprayer. There you go. Nice mist. So let me tell you, let's get into what this actually smells like. So I've worn this, I've had it for a few days and I've worn it. Uh, the first day I got it, I only did one spray on both sides of the back of my hand. And again, immediately when I smelled it, I said, whoop, this smells like autumn. This smells like fall. You get this nice citrus blast in the opening, although very short lived. Uh, you did get, do get a little bit of a brightness from bergamot in the opening. Now, something I'm starting to have a little bit of controversy and I'm wondering about is a note of cardamom. Now, for granted, it could list cardamom as a note, but if you go to the Parfum of the Mali website, they don't list cardamom. Now, here's why that's a little bit tricky, because I do pick up on a spicy nuance that doesn't quite seem like cinnamon. That could be cardamom. And I say that because very slightly in the opening of this fragrance, it makes me think about Leighton. If you know anything about Leighton from Parfums de Marley, it had that, it was infamous for having that apple cardamom combination in the opening of that fragrance. And this does remind me a lot of Leighton in the very opening of the fragrance. So is cardamom in here? Not 100% sure, but I definitely pick up on a spice uh, in addition to cinnamon. Uh, so it could be cardamom there, cardamom, but I definitely do get the cinnamon, right? So that opening blast, you get slightly, like I said, freshness from uh, the bergamot, but you get what I would say a cardamom-like spice with cinnamon in the opening, and immediately I get the vanilla as well. Now, the vanilla is there front and center as soon as you spray the fragrance, although it's listed as a, a, a base note on here, but I get that vanilla-like sweetness in the opening, and I get a very sweet, creamy, orange blossom and as i told you guys before orange blossom is a note that i've really come to to love and appreciate uh there's orange block bro orange blossom neroli and pettit grain they all come from the same tree and of those three the orange blossom is the sweeter uh note um you get the sweet creamy orange blossom and it just just adds to the what I would feel like that whole spice pumpkin latte vibe because it starts to give this sweet creaminess to the fragrance even in the introduction uh, of the scent. Now, as it starts to dry down, the vanilla becomes more prominent. Um, of course, the orange blossom, the bergamot is no longer there, but the orange blossom is there slightly in the background, just providing a little bit of sweet creaminess, but it becomes more about that vanilla and of course the cinnamon. Cinnamon and vanilla, I would say, are two of the primary notes, along with praline, uh, that you're gonna get for the duration of your wearing uh, of this scent. I really love it, it's bourbon vanilla, so uh, the bourbon vanilla, the cinnamon, uh, that creaminess in there, again, just the perfect fragrance. And I, again, I think when you just look at the bottle, it just really, the scent symbolizes, it symbolizes what's on the inside by the color of this bottle. Again, cinnamon, pumpkin pie, all those kind of things, sweet potato pie, you think about it, and that's really what this fragrance is going to uh, put you in the mindset of. And, you know, I really, really love how it is when it starts to dry down on my skin. But when you're about an hour into your uh, experience uh, wearing this fragrance, here comes the sweetness of praline. Now praline is a synthetic note, but it kind of gives this almost caramel-like caramel sweetness uh, to a fragrance. It's like a caramelized, chocolatey, almost uh, kind of nuance that uh, praline gives to the fragrance. And again, that helps to support that this sweetness uh, that you start to experience in the opening, uh, which primarily came again from orange blossom and vanilla. But uh, of course, now you have the praline coming into play. There's a slight hint of a smoky nuance that you're going to get way in the dry down from Gaiac Wood. Now, they also list Ambroxan and Musk uh, as a note. Those are blended very well, so I don't get a whole lot of Ambroxan and Musk, but 
and I get a lot of the praline. And again, I get a slight smokiness uh, as it dries all the way down that comes in from guyac wood. But for the duration of this scent, these there are, there are two notes that you're gonna get for pretty much the duration, and that's the vanilla and that's the cinnamon. So in the dry down, you get this nice, slightly sweet cinnamon praline and a smokiness from Guy Wood, and it's just absolutely beautiful, guys. Again, I really, really enjoy the scent on my skin. It lasted eight plus hours. Now, when I got to that eight hour mark, I could get about here and still pick it up. So it was still there. And uh, again, that was just one spray on the back of each hand. Now, as you talk about the seasons, you know, obviously fall is the perfect season for this. It'll work well in the winter time as well because it's sweet enough and it has enough body and performance that I think it will stand up to the cold of the winter. You can get away with wearing this date night in the spring as well. Um, maybe even date night in the summer. It's not like overly heavy or overly sweet or too sweet uh, where I think you couldn't pull it off where it'd be too cloying in the summertime. Like I said, maybe an evening uh, date night type scenario. But it's definitely a fragrance that I think a lot of you are going to like when you put your nose on it because it is it does have that quote unquote mass appealing uh, DNA. Is there anything specific that it smells like? Not necessarily. Again, I do get a slight uh, resemblance to Layton when I first spray it in the opening. Uh, but outside of that, there may be some other heavy, vanilla heavy fragrances out there that may remind folks of. I've seen some people say Mercedes Benz Club Black. Uh, which is a really, uh, in my opinion, great vanilla fragrance, designer fragrance. I could see that reference because, again, that's a vanilla-centric fragrance. And this has, again, a very uh, heavy presence of vanilla with the bourbon vanilla in the fragrance. So I can guess I can kind of see that. But not necessarily that it would necessarily smell exactly like that or Layton. But maybe just two fragrances to make uh, a reference uh, before you get your nose to it. I could see where people would kind of... Uh, offer those two fragrances as somewhat of a comparison. Uh, like I said again, guys, just to, to go back over this, the performance was really, really good. It's not a huge projector, uh, but it does give you a nice scent cloud. Like for the first five to six hours that I was wearing, I was constantly picking up wafts of it as I moved around. So it was definitely enveloping me and uh, haven't worn it out and about yet, but my family uh, they were definitely commenting uh, the fragrance when I wore it, asking what it was, because it is a very, very pleasant smell. Um, so overall, again, I'm very, very um, impressed with this release. I actually bought mine directly from Parfums and Marley, of course, which is probably the only place you can get it right now. Uh, it retails for 350 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. And um, shipping was pretty quick. Uh, it got here in like three days. So, you know, again, looking forward to wearing this this upcoming fall. I think this is the perfect fragrance for the fall. Like I said, in summary, it smells like a spice pumpkin latte. That's what I think about. And I think that's a good reference for most of you out there uh, to think about when thinking about this fragrance. But that is it, guys. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. I gave you guys my initial impressions of the newest fragrance from Parfums and Marley out there. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.